So the idea is that there's a, a 15 minute warm up session, just very gentle, just to get the spine turning, get the spine stretched, get the spine opened. And then after that, um, we move on to a simple healing meditation, which is going to be done in the standing posture for me. You can sit down, you can lie down, you can do anything you want. But uh, the idea is that we'll just stand for a little while, which is a very good posture for gathering lots of energy into the body, for building up our resources. So, um, yeah, let's just start off with a simple warm up if you'd like to do that. If you don't, you can just fast forward 15 minutes and you'll find the, the healing meditation part. Okay, so feet at shoulder width, knees are very gently bent, back is nice and straight, arms just hang down by your side. Just this unlock knee, which brings the weight softly forward into the front of the foot. So we refer to that as being 60% of the weight in the front of the foot, 40% in the heel. So we just make our turn from the very core of our body, from deep inside. Perhaps your back is cold, so let's just do it slowly. Just gently stretch and look back over your shoulder. Feel how your back feels. Come around to the other side, gently stretch and see how that feels. Gentle stretch and open. Gentle. And if nothing feels untoward, as it were, we can then release the spine and just let the body gently turn. So today we're just going to work with one of the most simple exercises, the most basic exercises from Dr. Pang's huge canon of work. So the exercise we're using today in various different sort of ways is, going to, is called La Chi. And La Chi means stretching energy effectively. The um, basic theory that underpins all of Dr. Pang's work is called Hunyuan Entirety Theory. So you discover that most schools have um, a, a story about how your body works and about how energy works inside the body, but rarely do they actually describe how the rest of the universe works, shall we say. My uh, school, as you've probably noticed, is called quantum qigong. I like the idea of quantum qigong because the idea seems to me that everything that we're starting to understand in quantum physics relates directly to what Dr. Pang has suggested in his Hun Yuan entirety theory. So basically he says that our entire universe is made up of undifferentiated energy. And that would fall in line with what quantum physics says as well. So the smallest unit in quantum physics is called a Planck, named after Max Planck. And uh, it's seen as being the smallest kind of non-divisible part of our entire universe. And so, you know, when we think about sort of um, dark matter and uh, uh, such ideas as, as uh, um, yes, the, the weak force and things like that in quantum physics, we're talking about something that's the next step up or maybe 50 steps up who knows but the next step up from the sort of undifferentiated mass of the universe and so it's like the tiniest tiniest pixels that make up our universe dr pang has exactly the same story with hun yuan chi he basically says that our entire universe is made up of this undifferentiated energy and that that undifferentiated energy um requires consciousness to make it turn into something. So here we find ourselves with the, in the human condition where consciousness is creating things. If you think about a, a house, you need somebody to think, oh, I want to build a house here. And then you need an architect to think, well, this is what the house is going to look like and a builder to create materials and so forth and eventually, house arises out of nothing 
but it takes this kind of moment of inspiration to sort of drive the process to make it happen. And so too with everything in our universe, we use our consciousness to create it, which makes you wonder how on earth we get to such a terrible situation as wars around the world and things like that. But I think that it's important to know also that your subconscious creates the universe as well. And so I think deep in people's subconscious, there's all sorts of terrible things going on. And that's why I constantly work with my clients on the one-to-one -one basis. I constantly work with them to try and look for these subconscious patterns, to see where those things lie, to see how we can eradicate them and uh, help ourselves not to be subconsciously acting out stories that make us ill and unhappy. So yes, back to this basic exercise. Dr. Pang sees us using this exercise called La Chi. And basically what we do is we kind of open our hands and close our hands in a very sort of simple way. But what we envisage is the Chi dissolving, the problems of our Chi dissolving and bringing back healthy new patterns. So let's just take this particular exercise we're doing and, and expand it a little bit more. Make it a little bit slower, but this time stretch a little bit further. So now we're kind of opening up our neck. Look back over your shoulders. Yeah, so we'll get on to using La Chi a little bit later. But as I was explaining, the standing posture, knees bent and back nice and straight, that is the best posture for gathering energy into your body. Well, you may never have known that you needed energy, but... I guess on those days when you feel exhausted and shattered, you could always have some more energy. Well, the idea is that we build up our chi by gathering it from the universe around us. And on a daily basis, all humans work with chi. But the point is, if you become skilled, you can gather much more than your average counterpart who walks up and down the high street, who knows nothing of this art. So what we attempt to do is we attempt to fill our bodies with extra chi. We attempt to release blockages. We attempt to um, release chi in our body that's no longer useful to us. And so by refining these energies, we can then well, do much better, I suppose, do much better in life, <laughs> feel better about life. Okay, so a few more turns, gently opening the spine, gently looking back over the shoulders. And then we can let everything slowly stop. Don't rush to a stop, just slowly, slowly, bit by bit, gently, gently. And then let everything gently come to an end. So if you feel lightheaded, this next exercise helps. Plug the hands into the earth, lift chi up. Gently pour the chi down through your body, flowing the energy from your head into your chest, down into your belly, and then flow down your legs into the ground. Gather. So the target for this is the belly. We draw the chi down, and we focus it deep into the very core of ourselves, bringing all the energy to the very center. And then we can let the hands relax, let it flow back down the legs as a sort of circuit. So let's gather again, lift chi up. And pour chi down. Focus everything into the belly. And then release the hands. They flow down. Okay. So the second part of this little warm-up exercise is to get the spine and stretching forward and backwards. So now we've rotated the spine to get it moving in, a, in that fashion. Let's do some simple forward and back bends. This exercise is called Ren Mai and Du Mai. My, and it's Ren Mai Du Mai. The Ren channel runs down the front of the body. The Du channel runs up the spine. And so we're stretching both of those open. So we can just simply start off by bringing the hands in the prayer position in front of us, lift the hands up and stretch up into the blue sky. And then just let the whole body relax gently for a moment. Okay, so we're going to breathe in and stretch up. As we breathe out, we're going to gently lean back. 
Breathe in, stretch up. Breathe out and lean back. Breathe in, stretch up. Breathing out as we go back. Last time, breathe in, stretch up. And breathing out as we go back. Breathe in, stretch up into the blue sky. Just let your arms and your ears drift gently over. Then we roll into the upper back, roll into the middle back, roll into the lower back and let the body hang down. Just let the back of the neck relax, let the body gently relax. You can tuck the tummy in slightly, just let the whole body hang and relax. Nice and easy. Okay, great. So let's extend softly down towards our toes. And release. In line with the roots of our toes. And release. In line with our insteps. And release. And then working back towards our heels. And release. Body just hangs and relaxes. Okay, so lift the tailbone to point up behind you. And then gently push the tailbone toward the front of the body. As we do so, we just let the spine slowly roll up. Try and engage the arms and ears as one piece and bring those slowly up. Gathering up to full height. And we stretch up. And then just gently relax here. Okay, so breathe in, stretch the hands up. As we breathe out, we softly lean back. Breathing in, stretching up. Breathing out and leaning back. Breathe in. Exhale back. Breathe in. Exhale back. Breathe in, stretch hands up into the blue sky. Okay, so we're just going to go forwards, but we're not pressing the arms against the ears. We're just having the arms coordinated with the ears. Rolling into the upper back, rolling into the middle back, rolling into the lower back, gently lower the body down, let the body hang and relax. So we just gently hang and relax here. Extend softly down towards the toes. And release. In line with the roots of our toes. Release. Toward the insteps. And release. And back toward the heels. Body relaxes and hangs. Lift the tailbone up behind. Push the tailbone to the front. Roll the spine up. Bring up the head and the arms and the ears. Stretch up into the blue sky. Stretch. Okay, so for Ren Mai and Do Mai, we're trying to extend from the breastbone all the way up to our fingertips. So as you exhale, lean back and try and extend. Breathe in, stretch up. Breathe out and go back. Breathe in, stretch up. Out and back. Breathe in, stretch up. Out and back. Good. Good. Stretch hands up into the blue sky. We're going to try and do these exercises with straight legs now. So if you do straight legs, it just stretches your hamstrings. So when you gently exhale, just tip over slowly, arms and ears first. And then we go to upper back, middle back, lower back. Let the body hang down. Try and keep the legs as straight as you can. With nice straight legs, we're just um, extending our hamstrings a little bit. So you can move the weight softly forward into your toes and just feel the hamstrings stretch a little bit more open. Nice straight legs. Okay, so make our stretches gently down towards the toes. And release. In line with the roots of our toes. And release. Line with our insteps. 
and release. And in line with our heels, deep bend. And release, body hangs, body relaxes. Lift the tailbone up behind, gently push the tailbone to the front of the body, roll the spine up, bring up the head and the arms at the same speed if you can. Come up and stretch up, breathe in. And then this extension from the breastbone to the fingertips as we lean back, breathing out. Breathe in, straighten up. Breathe out, leaning back. Breathe in, straighten up. Breathe out, leaning back. Breathing in. And breathing out. Okay, bring hands up into the blue sky. We're just going to gently exhale forwards last time. So legs are straight. Exhale forwards, or roll the way down. Let the body hang and relax. Keep the legs as straight as you can. Just shift the weight softly forward onto the toes. And really feel the back of the neck relaxed. Just allow the whole body to hang. First extension to the toes. And release. And then imagining a line between the roots of our toes, just stretching towards that. Release, heading towards our insteps. So we're just slowly getting deeper each time. And release, and eventually heading back towards our heels. Final deep bend. We relax and we release and we hang. To bring ourselves upright, lift the tailbone up behind, push the tailbone to the front of the body. Join the arms and the ears together and bring those up as one piece. Stretch up into the blue sky. And the final stretch, breastbone to fingertips, back as you breathe out. Breathe in. Exhale back. Breathe in. Back. Breathe in. And back. Breathe in, straighten the whole body up. Exhale, bring your hands drifting down the sides. We've bent, been bent forward here, so sometimes it can make you feel a bit dizzy. Let's do our balancing exercise again. Hands in the earth, lift cheek up. Gently pull cheek down through your body. Move the energy from your head. Draw it down into your belly, sinking it deep inside. Releasing the hands, relaxing. Gathering again. And pouring. Gathering again. And pouring. Hands relax down, body relaxes. So the final little set of exercise in this warm up, just to do some side bends. Okay, so take a breath in, lift your right hand up. So you breathe and lift the right hand. And as you breathe out, we're just going to move the right hand across to the left hand side about sort of 60 degrees. Take, you can support yourself with your left hand if you wish. Take a breath in. As you breathe out, gently stretch further to the left. Breathe in. And stretch. Breathe in. And stretch. Breathe in. And stretch. Breathe in, lift up the right hand. Breathe out, exchange hands over. Breathe in. Extend over to the left. Breathe in. 
exhale. Breathe in, exhale. Breathe in, exhale. Breathe in, exhale. Breathe in, lift the left hand up. Exchange. Breathe in. Right hand goes over. Breathe in. And exhale. Breathe in. Exhale. Breathe in. Exhale. Take a breath and lift the right hand up. Exchange hands. Breathe in. Left hand goes over. Breathe in. And exhale. Breathe in. And exhale. Breathe in. And exhale. Very good. Bring both hands up in the air. Exhale, both hands down. Last time for gathering chi. Hands in the earth, lift chi up. Gently pour chi down through your body. Lifting chi up. Pouring chi down. Once more. Gently pull. Draw the chi deep inside. Focus the chi deep into the belly. Relax as the chi flows down the legs. Once more, gather. This time, we're going to bring our hands to the belly. Draw chi down, relaxing and settling, sinking the chi deep inside. Let the hands relax on the belly. All of this chi gathering deep inside lower down chin, deep inside the core of the body. Lower down chin chi is abundant. Blood and chi flowing well in your body. So we take up our standing stance. As I mentioned, this is a very powerful way to gather chi. So let's just recap. Feet at shoulder width apart, nice and wide. Knees gently bent. Tailbone kind of sits down towards the ground. Spine nice and long. Chin just jolt, draws back towards the spine, moves in slightly. Top of the head softly pushes to the blue sky whilst the tailbone pushes down to the ground. So you have this kind of extending idea of the tailbone sitting down and the top of the head pushing up. Let's try and find a relaxed version of this. In theory, your feet should be parallel. The knees should be gently bent. Weight should be 60% on the front of the foot, 40% on the heel. In reality, you have to find something that works for you. So for me, I tend to have my feet a bit of an angle because my feet are slightly flat. I don't have them as parallel. I always try and keep my knees bent, you know, just a centimeter or two bent, just has to be unlocked. When we unlock the knee, the weight softly shifts forward. When the weight softly shifts forward, the chi can flow much more easily from the sole of the foot up the legs into the body. So just by doing this bent knee, lower body 
kind of idea, we're already gathering much more energy than we were before. It starts to kind of surge up into the body. When we gently have this idea of pushing the top of the head into the blue sky, we have this idea of bringing the chin back a little bit and pushing the head up. That just sort of straightens the upper spine. And then we have this idea of chi pouring down from the heavens, pouring down deep inside our body. So you have this perfect balance. You've heard the words yin and yang before, I'm certain. The idea of yin energy coming up from the earth, yang energy coming down from the heavens, mixes deep inside of you. You have the perfect balance of energy for your body. Dr. Pang's Hun Yuan entirety theory goes a step beyond that. He says that the whole of our universe is made of Hun Yuan Qi. So it doesn't have to matter whether it's yin or yang. Your body just absorbs everything that it needs. As we stand here as well, there's a tiny little refinement we make in our hips. So you just press your tailbone a shade forwards. It's just the tiniest little puck of the tailbone. We move that slightly forwards. Between the legs, there's an acupuncture point between your genitalia and your anus. It's a, a point you just imagine lifting up slightly at the perineum. So you just gently tighten between the legs and lift there. The belly softly moving towards the back. And again, this idea, tailbone sits down. So there's a slight forward motion, slight upward motion, slight backward motion, slight downward motion. So it's almost like a sort of circle working here in the hips, just to get the hips into the right posture with the tailbone slightly tucked, knees gently bent, back nice and straight. So it takes a while to get used to a Chinegchigun standing posture. And you know, you can often find that you need to move your legs a bit or, you know, shake your feet out, but that's fine. Do whatever you need to do to make yourself feel comfortable. But we do just want to find some version of this that's sustainable for ourselves. As we stand here, we're gathering energy. With our hands and our belly, the energy attracts to the lower energy field, to lower Dantian. So you're already picking up energy deep in the belly just by being here. Another thing that helps us to gather lots of energy is switching off the mind. So the mind is constantly going out. It's constantly thinking about what happens after class, shopping, lunch, business meeting. What do I have to do? Where do I have to be? It's constantly searching through our internal calendar, our internal to-do list. What have I got to do next? It's constantly wondering about food. <laughs> what am I going to eat? All these sort of things. Going shopping. Searching the internet. Every time your mind goes to a new task like that, it expends a bit of energy. And so we spend our energy during the day by constantly being on our phone, being on our computer, constantly doing something, constantly busy, constantly contemplating, constantly thinking about things to do. So now, just for this time, we just try and still our mind. So there's a very simple concept in Qigong, which is called draw mind back. Sometimes they'll say to you, imagine a point it's about a meter in front of you. It's a small sort of void bubble of some sort that just sort of happens to be right in front of your third eye. And then they say, draw this back into the center of your mind. And it's almost like the outside world sort of gathering back into the core of your mind. And then perhaps the eyelids slowly lowering to kind of, you know, bring us back into the core of ourselves rather than out there. So this instruction you'll hear often, draw mind back. We try to bring our mind back inside. Draw mind down to lower Dantian. Put your mind in your belly. So just think about where your hands are. Think about where your belly button is. Think about deep inside the core of you, which is where our energy field is. Hold your mind on that point for a few moments. Steady deep inside the belly. 
So now the mind is focused deep inside the belly. Energy will start to gather there. So we hold this focus as long as we can. Inevitably, it's going to bob off somewhere else. You know, you'll suddenly find yourself thinking about something else. Don't be harsh with yourself. This happens a lot. Draw mind back. Draw mind down into the belly. Focus into lower Dantian. The more often you're focusing your mind into this energy field in your belly, the less often you're out there expending money, <laughs> expending energy. I was going to say, and it's some money popped in there. And I was going to say, it's like a bank account. You know, you have to put money back into a bank account before you can spend it or you go into overdraft. And that's quite a lot of people find themselves in energy overdraft, I think, exhausted. So we're now stocking up the supply of chi. And of course, money is just an energy anyway. It's just a representation of our work. And so, yeah, storing all this energy deep inside the belly, bringing mind back inside. Sometimes I use a thing I call one breath. And you can imagine taking a breath in through your nostrils, almost like the line of your nostril seems to point directly into the center of your brain. So just imagine my image, which is breathing in through your nostrils. The breath goes right into the center of your brain and it kind of illuminates the center of the brain like a, um, an old fashioned lamp, just gently glowing and brightening. Um, I'm thinking of, what am I thinking of? A gas mantle, something like that. As you just turn the lamp on, it just gets a little bit brighter in the center. And so we're just thinking about the brain. This one breath we take in through our nostrils illuminates the center of the brain. And then when you breathe out, you imagine this illumination going straight down through your throat, straight down through your chest, all the way down into your belly. And then you breathe gently, imagining the center of your belly. So how often do you have to draw yourself back with just one breath? Mind may have wandered off already to do something else. And so you just take a breath in gently through your nostrils. Illuminate the center of upper dantian, your brain. And as you breathe out, take the energy down into your chest down into your belly. Settle your mind deep in your belly. So you have this tool to draw you back inside, to bring you back to you. You have this posture, which helps you to breathe, uh, breathe, which helps you to absorb extra energy from around you. You're stood in a chi field. Everything around you is chi. So we have to find ways to absorb as much chi as we can. And this standing posture and this practice of bringing the mind back is very powerful for doing that. So what about the patterns that are already inside? We'll look at those next. But Dr. Pang suggests that we use a kind of a setup phrase, a setup idea to bring us into a perfect place for our exercises. This is his poem called The Eight Phrases. So the first line of the phrase says, connect through your feet into the earth, draw energy from the heavens down into your body. So we have this idea of energy flowing deep inside us. In traditional ideas, it would have been yin chi supports you from the earth, yang chi supports you from the heavens. As I say with Dr. Pang, it goes beyond that. It's all just energy. So it's just the energy of the universe flowing in from all directions into your body. The second idea we encounter is let the body relax. And uh, I think it's fair to say it's impossible to, um, to basically, so what was I trying to say? Sorry, that it's impossible that um, a, a tense body can absorb 
chi. And so what we do is try and relax as best we can. And the more we relax, the more we can absorb and heal. So try to soften and relax your body. Let your mind quietly expand. So we feel very sort of trapped in these bodies. We feel like we're just, you know, a brain stuck inside a body. But now when we let our mind expand, we can just soften out of the body into the room around us. Okay, so the third idea, humble stance. And that's all this idea of knees gently bent, a soft chest as well, chin gently tucked. We're not standing like soldiers or relaxing. No difference between the inside of the body and the outside of the body. So as we soften and relax, we can start to feel this idea of just gently dissolving into the chi field around us. The chi around us supports us. So just feel that it's possible to be supported by the chi field around you. Whole body relaxes. The next idea we encounter in Dr. Pang's poem is this idea of scanning through the body. Look inside. So if I tell you that pain is caused by a blockage of the flow of qi. So if you feel pain in your body, it means that there's something there that's not open. One of my teachers used to bizarrely say, pain is your friend, which I find very suspicious. But then I understand what he's saying, that if you feel pain, it's showing you where the blockages lie. It shows you what you can open up, how to change your body. So if you have a pain in your shoulder, it's clear that the chi is not flowing well. And what we need to do is to massage our shoulders, to use qigong exercises to open the shoulders up, etc. So pain is an indicator. We scan through our body looking for any pain. We scan through our body looking for any, looking, I say, internally looking, as it were, gazing inside your body, searching for some blockage, something that doesn't feel right. When we find it, we can send chi to it. Imagine that we can open it, push past it. The next idea is to expand out of your body. Feel the chi field around you. The chi of the space that you're working in. If you're lucky enough to work outdoors, the chi of the area around you. Are you working in a town or in a countryside? Feel the chi around you. City around you. Expanding out further. Think of the chi of your country. Think of the chi of your continent. And eventually, think of the chi of all the continents as we gently sort of move back. You can imagine viewing the world like a satellite view of the planet. What about our solar system? Become aware of our sun, become aware of our planets. Become aware of the Milky Way. Become aware of our galaxy. Expanding out. Maybe even galaxies beyond that. Expanding out. You know, the entirety of our universe. So now we move from the vastness of the universe with its vast supply of undifferentiated chi, we can draw some of this amazing energy back into our lives. When you think about your problems and your life in terms of the universe, it suddenly becomes a pinprick momentary flash in time and space. We seem to think all oh, our problems are so massively epic. The reality is that they're just a flick 
of time and space. But they're important to us, and so we need to heal them. So we gently imagine drawing back resources from the vast corners of the universe, back to our galaxy and finding our Milky Way, back into the solar system, and where we can see our sun and our planets, and eventually we find our way back to our beautiful Earth. Pause for a moment here and let's send some love to the Earth. There are parts of the Earth which could really do with some help today. Why not send a kind of beam of love and light down to whomever or wherever you feel could benefit from it? And then we slowly start to bring ourselves back. We're starting to find our continent, start to find our country, eventually finding our way back to our city or town, countryside, eventually finding our way back into our practice space, eventually finding our way back into our bodies. Gathering back all this healing chi deep inside the body. An abundance of energy in every cell. You can let the hands relax down by your sides. So you can just move your feet a little bit if you wish. Okay, so we're just going to gather our hands gently in front to hold a ball of chi. So we hold this ball of chi just in front of the belly. It's just a softly bent elbow, softly bent wrist, softly bent fingers, little fingers pointing back towards the belly button. This is a really good posture for gathering chi inside. We have our knees softly bent, we have the tailbone gently tucked forward, we have this chi gathering deep inside. So see if you can sustain this for a few minutes. When it gets too much, just put the hands back on the belly. If you can continue to stand in this way, that's great because it'll really help build the energy up. Don't forget to softly tuck the tailbone forwards, softly lift by Hui the top of the head up into the blue sky. Just feel like you can allow this chi to flow deep inside your body. Just for a moment, just work through these ideas. So Dr. Pang always tells us that the problems that manifest themselves in our body are because of the subconscious thoughts in our minds. Sometimes the conscious thoughts, but mostly the subconscious thoughts. He uses this following image. He says, you have the most complex chemical factory on earth in your body. There is no chemical factory on earth that could create the chemicals that you need at such incredible speed. A thought brings about emotion, an emotion triggers a chemical cascade in your body Chemicals pour through your body. A split second, you might be blushing. A split second, you may be crying. Nobody could ever figure out the correct com chemical composition to make these things occur and produce them at the speed that you do. So you're in charge of the most complex chemical factory on Earth. But the question is, are you truly in charge? Who is in charge of all these processes? Hmm, interesting question, huh? So if we think about this cascade of energy, a thought triggers, an emotion arrives, energy pours through your body. You feel the pain, the heat, whatever it might be. So let's just think about a story. 
guy breaks up with a girl. Girl always drove a blue convertible car. Guy deeply hurt by this breakup, loss of relationship. Driving along weeks later, he sees a blonde go by in a convertible car, not his ex-girlfriend, but the same car. The emotions trigger. He feels the loss. The chemicals pour through his body. The tears come flooding to his eyes. Now, it wasn't the same girl, and it was not the same car. But the idea was still the same. So we hold these patterns deep inside. And when they trigger, chemicals pour through our bodies. So how about a moment in our childhood where a cruel teacher says, you'll never amount to anything. Somewhere you store that away deep inside. Every time you come to a new turn in the road, an opportunity that opens itself, you think, mm, I'm not good enough for this. And again, the chemicals flood through your body. Every day, you may look at yourself in the mirror and subconsciously think, oh, I'm not going to make anything today. I'm not going to make anything of this. And again, a cocktail of complex chemicals pours through your body. The sheer sight of yourself might be enough to make yourself feel cross. Perhaps you have an injury that you can see something that's changed your life, a deformity, whatever it might be. And every time you look, you see this reminder and it creates this chemical cascade in your body. Every time your partner walks through the door, you may feel a flush of fear go through your body, chemicals pouring through. Every time your boss walks into the office, might trigger a whole stream of chemicals pouring through your body. Every time you sit behind the wheel of the car, you may feel triggers of anger pouring chemicals through your body. The chemicals that pour through your body shouldn't really be there. The chemical factory inside you has allowed them to release because of some hidden pattern. Now, these chemicals are wearing out your system. Somebody who spends their life being very fearful, worried that every turn something will go wrong, something will hurt them, something will crush them, these people tend to try to control their lives incredibly carefully, hold on to everything so tightly that the chemicals in your kidneys, for instance, pour through the cortisol, cortisone. All of these chemicals pouring through your kidneys eventually exhaust your kidneys. And so this is what stress is. Stress is a constant, constant pouring through of negative chemicals through your system. And eventually what we call burnout occurs. We become stressed for so long, the body can no longer cope with this chemical cascade, hurting us. So how would it be if just for a moment, you set aside all the information that your mother your father and your grandparents had given to you the stories that they told you about the family, about you, about life. How would it be if just for a moment you set aside all the stories that religion has given you? The moral stories that we take on board. How would it be if just for a moment we let go 
of the diagnoses of doctors, the stories of lawyers, the hot wind from politicians. How would it be if we let go of our bosses and colleagues information that's been given to us? How about if we let go of the stories that our partners have given us? How would it be let if we let go of the information of children and friends? What would it be like if we let go of all of this information? How would it be if we just allowed the rules of society to dissolve and let go? Who would you be then? How would it be if you let go of the stories you've told yourself about who you are? How would it be if you truly let go of those? Slowly we're coming toward our true self now. Slowly we're beginning to realize that all the things that we learned in school, all the things that society has given us, all the things that our family and friends have given us, are just their stories, things that you have taken on yourself. How would it be if we just let go of all of those stories? Just imagine your true self, a perfect version of you, the blueprint of you, just as pure consciousness. So in this really soft and open way, we can just use la chi to heal the physicality of our body. Such a simple tool. We just gently drift our hands apart and imagine all of our problems dissolving. We've managed to dissolve everything else in our life. Now we just let go of any problems we might have. They dissolve too. When you bring your hands back together again, or towards each other, should I say, you start to gather chi back into your body. Perfect healing chi. So what's the size of this movement? Perhaps it goes from being about football sized out to about beach ball sized. And then we bring our hands back together again. It comes back to football size. But the key thing here is that we just imagine any problems we have gently dissolving as we open our hands. And we just imagine focus coming back deep inside our lives, healing chi coming back deep inside our lives. So we bring our hands back together again. So the one thing to note is that if you have a specific problem, let's say you have a specific problem like a a tumor or diabetes or a heart disease or something like that. Don't think about the problem. The first time you do it, you can just think, right, I'm going to let my heart disease completely dissolve out into the universe. It's gone, it's gone, it's gone. And then when you bring your hands back together, you just see a perfect working heart. However, if you continue to say, oh, my heart disease, my heart disease, on and on and on, you're giving it strength, you're giving it power. So we can perhaps, you know, just to make sure we know where we're working, we can just do it one time and say this problem and kind of name it and let it dissolve out into the blue sky. And then after that, we're just seeing perfect working body coming back, everything in perfect working order. And when we dissolve, we just let go of the area, we let go of the general idea of all problems going. And when we come back, we bring back amazing healing to the body. So we don't harp on about our problem. We just let it go once and it dissolves. And then from then onwards, just imagine, you know, if you're working with the heart, you could just imagine the whole center of your chest dissolving. And then when you come back, you could see your heart in perfect working order. So we're doing this little exercise called Lachi. When we open the hands, we say Kai. 
K-A-I. Kai is open in Chinese, but it has so many different connotations to it. It's not just open, it's dissolved, it's let go, let everything out into the blue sky. And then when we bring the hands back together again, we say her, H-U-R, her. And as you say her, you're just allowing chi to come back into your life. So it's close, technically speaking, but it's also kind of gather, draw in, bring energy to the center. So Kai and her. Let's just try that for a little while. So open your hands gently and say Kai. Kai. Then we bring the hands back together again. We say her. Let's just continue with Kai and her for a few minutes. All problems dissolving. Kai. Drawing healing energy deep inside. Kai lets go and opens. Kai. Her brings healing energy back inside. Uh, uh, Problems dissolve out into the vastness of the universe. We gather healing resources from the universe deep inside the body. Dissolving the problem into chi. Uh, 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 Problems dissolve, letting go, letting go. Love um, the energy deep inside. Um, body opens, problems open. Um, great healing chi fills the space. I let go, let go, let go. Uh, healing chi deep inside your body. Expanding. Uh, 
Ah, chi deep inside. Ah, let go of all the problems in your life and body. Ah, gather back perfect healing chi to take the place of the problems. Just a few more times now. Ah. 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 Maybe we'll do a few more times. Softly. Last two times, just in silence, moving only your hand. And eventually you stop moving. You can just bring your hands back together. Just gently touch the fingertips together to make a little ball. And just draw this ball so it sits on your belly button. Just hold this ball here for a moment. It's like a sort of external energy ball over the internal lower dantian. Imagine all that wonderful chi that you've gathered going deep inside your lower dantian deep inside every cell of your body. Lower Dantian Chi is abundant. Blood and Chi flow well through your body. Your body healing out of every level. Healing from a true self level. So to close out, we just gently bring our hands into the prayer position. Let them settle in front of the heart. We've got an instruction called Step on Chi. And it means if you're while feet are open, you gently heel and toe them closed again until they come back into the Shenang Qigong standing posture. From this posture here, we stretch our hands up in front of the face, up over the crown of the head, stand up into the blue sky, and then open up little fingers, ring fingers, middle fingers, split the hands apart, draw them down to shoulder height. Little scoop of the hands, we gather chi round to the front, shoulder height and width, and just let the energy flow inside your brain. Just imagine your brain illuminated, every cell in your brain working well, all functions of your brain, perfect working order, sharp, total clarity, no fog, working well. Draw the elbows back and let the hands come underneath the arms. Just lightly touch Dabao. It's a little space underneath the armpits. We just send Chi from Dabao deep into the center of our chest to send energy through to the heart, the lungs, spleen, pancreas, liver, kidneys, all the major organs in your body get a fantastic filling up with chi. We just let the hands move behind us. So they just drift behind. And then the back of the hands start to move towards the front of the body. When they're lying on the side of the body, just turn them over and send a wave of chi out into the blue sky. And then gently draw the chi back towards your belly. So we've got a kind of ball of chi here. We're just going to draw it in through the belly button, squeeze it in deep inside the belly, holding this fantastic chi deep inside lower dantian. Lower dantian chi is abundant. Blood and chi flow well through your body. All of the functions of your body returning to perfect working order. All functions of your body normal. All functions of your body normal. You can imagine taking this chi from the belly and sweeping it up your spine into your brain, up to your neck, to your shoulders, down your arms, fill your spine, fill the upper torso, middle and lower torso, pour the chi down through your hips, 
into your legs, into your knees, into your ankles, into your feet. An abundance of energy in all of these joints, these muscles, these tendons, every aspect of the body. Blood flowing well, the nervous system strong. All functions, perfect working order. Perfect working order. Let's make three little circles around the belly button to close off. So we circle around the belly button anti-clockwise. Three circles, and it just sends a message to the body, hold all the chi inside, store this energy, keep it safe for when I need it. And then we go back three circles in the opposite direction, and those just send a message to the body, exercise is over, just kind of return the physicality back to normal, everything working well, back into this daily life of ours. And then we can just stand for a moment. Just imagine your Wei Chi layer. So it's a layer of Chi around your skin. It's like sort of a centimeter, two centimeters, an inch around your skin, glowing energy, keeping you protected, a shield of Chi. And then we have our Chi body, a meter above, below, left, right, back, front, bubble of Chi around you, protecting you, but also connecting you to the outside world. See yourself as a being of light. Every cell in your body filled with chi. These wonderful chi fields around you, keeping you safe. All functions of your body, normal. All functions, normal. Put a big smile on your face. Slowly open your eyes. Bring your body back into a bit of movement. Stretch and shake the legs out a bit. Shake out the hands, move whatever you wish. If you'd like to do a forward bend or something like that, just come up very slowly. You know, don't rush this because you might feel dizzy. So just whatever feels right, we stretch our body out a little bit. Getting the chi flowing once again. And then we're going to um, say hao la. So hao la is Chinese for good already. So the idea is that all of this visualization we've done, all of the healing visualizations we've worked with, we say how la to uh, imprint the fact that everything is already sorted. The healing we want, done, already fixed. Okay, so hands up in the air. One, two, how la. One, two, how la. Last time. One, two, ha, la. And we have a final salute for each other. You take your right hand and sweep it up. Take the left hand and bring it down. You sort of pull the fingertips together and then you put the thumbs on the end. This is called entirety hands. And so we just thank you very much for being here. Really lovely working with you. And as I always say, I'm going to put this video up onto my YouTube channel. There's many, many other healing videos there. Please share it amongst your friends. Anybody who might benefit from just doing a little healing meditation, please pass it around and share it around the globe. Thanks very much for being here today. Have a lovely day. Bye.